Hi and welcome everyone to this lesson about UBS. So we discussed before in a previous lesson about the concept of UBS and its types. Now we would like to understand the difference between a conventional UBS and modular UBS. So first, if you don't remember what is a UBS, it is an abbreviation for uninterruptible power supply or it is also known as a battery backup. So it provides backup power when your regular power source fails or the voltage drops to unacceptable level. So for example, if you have some critical loads, some important loads, such as for example, data servers, okay, and you would like them to have uh, electrical power all the time, then you will use UBS. Okay, so if the AC power fails, if the AC power fails, it will start providing electrical power in just milliseconds to our data servers or computers or any important loads. Okay, so UBS is used for critical loads that will require power all the time. Or if your own AC power have some fluctuations or harmonics or whatever it is, this UBS will convert this to an acceptable uh, voltage output um, waveform. Okay. So let's understand in this lesson, we will talk about the difference between the conventional UBS and the modular uh, UBS. So the conventional UBS or the standalone UBS is simply a compact device such as this one. You will find that it consisting of all of its components, all of the components such as batteries, uh, inverter, rectifiers, and everything are in one uh, compact device. Okay, this device can be, for example, let's say for example, five kilovolt ampere, uh, 10 kilovolt ampere, one big unit with a constant value. Okay, so this uh, type of UBS is not scalable. What does this mean? It means I cannot increase its rating. Its rating is constant. 5 kilovolt, 10, 15, whatever it is. Okay, so you buy this device with the built-in batteries. Batteries are inside it to store electrical power and to provide electrical power when the AC power is not available. Okay. Second type of uh, UBS uh, is called the modular UBS. This UBS is formed of modules. You can see this one. Each uh, rack inside this uh, UBS is formed of um, modules. Okay, so you can see this one is one module, two modules, three, four, five, and so on. Each of these modules uh, can be added to the UBS. Okay, so we can uh, let's say, for example, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven racks or seven modules. Multiply it. Each one, for example, is 10 kilovolt ampere. Okay. So the total uh, kilovolt ampere or the rating of this device will be 70 kilovolt ampere. Now, let's say, for example, I would like to scale or increase the rating of the UBS. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add another unit here, for example, another unit here. So our UBS will be eight racks or eight modules multiplied by 10 kilovolt ampere. So we will have 80 kilovolt ampere. Okay, so here the UBS is scalable. It means I can change its rating, unlike the conventional, which has a fixed rating. So by adding or removing the units or the racks or the modules, you will be able to increase your own rating. Now, why is this important? Because sometimes our load will increase in the future, expansion of the load. So in this case, I will need to add more racks or more UBS modules. Okay, that's why this is a big advantage of using the modular UBS. And of course, if one of the modules, let's say this one has a problem, then I'm going to remove this unit and the rest of the device will 
uh, uh, will operate normally without any discontinuity in the surface. Here, as you can see, this one, each of these uh, is rack or uh, con contains one module. So you can see that I can add it or remove it as I would like. Here you can see the conventional UBS with all of the components inside it. So now let's see an image for the modular uh, UBS. So you can see that here we have a modular UBS. You can see consisting of how many racks or how many modules. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten racks or ten modules of the UBS. 10 modules of the UBS, each one of these is 30 kilovolt ampere, 30 kilovolt ampere. So this system will produce finally the total rating of this UBS will be 100 kilovolt ampere. So in this lesson, we talked about the conventional UBS and the modular UBS and the difference between them.